Cozy FX from Designer Studios and in this video I'll be showing how to create a realistic 3D t-shirt mockup, 360 animation and a walk cycle for your t-shirt mockup. To make the mockups and the 360 animation you need a software called Clo3D so go ahead to download and install the software to get started. Once you've downloaded and installed the software into your computer, open up the program, use the default settings and you will see a view like this. To start making a mockup, you would need a mockup template. At Designer Studios, we've created a collection of mockup templates for people to use from. So you can go in the link in the description to download this mockup template. Once you've downloaded the mockup template, open it up to get started. Once you open up the mockup template, you will see a view like this. Now let's get started. The first thing you want to do is come up here to display 2D information and show pattern name. So when you click on that, you will see the pattern name in which you will be working on, on the right side. So this is the back, this is the front, this is the right sleeve and this is the left sleeve. And also to navigate this 3D view, use the middle scroll button to zoom in and out and over the right click to rotate. And to go back into a perfect pose position, press 2 on the keyboard. Now let's start changing colors and adding our graphics and print. To change the colors of the t-shirt, come to the fabric section on the right side, click on the body color and come down here to where it says open texture editor. Click and disable this unless you're making a ether gray texture or color. So apply that, close, and now you can change the color to anything you want. I will do the same thing for the neck. And on the 3D view, you would notice uh, the thread is still uh, gray in color. To change that, come to the thread section or the top stitch section, click on the top stitch color and change the color from gray to black. Once you've changed the color of the t-shirt to the color of your choice, now you can go ahead to start adding your graphics, logos, prints, whatsoever. Now to do that, come to the graphics section, click and open the folder in which you have all your graphics in and drag and drop all of your graphics. So basically I'm dragging and dropping all the graphics I'll be using in this video. Once you have all your graphics in, we can start adding the graphics onto the fabric patterns. Starting with the front pattern, to, to add your graphics onto the pattern, all you need to do is drag and drop. Once you drop the pattern, you will see the design reflect on the 3D view. And now we can scale the design by left clicking and scaling and you can also hold left click to position your design perfectly I'll do the same thing for the back 
drag and drop to rotate the 3d view hold right click to rotate around and i'll do the same thing for the sleeves So a quick tip, to change the color of your graphics or to change the color of your graphics, click on the graphic, click texture, desaturate and now you can change it to any color you want. I'll use white in this case. Finally, I'll add the neck label, which is this. Once you're done with that, you're ready to make your mock-up pictures. Before making the mock-up pictures, I would like to add one more thing, final thing to the right sleeve. Now let's make the mock-up pictures. Come over to the render uh, section here, render, click render and here you will see an empty page on the right. So to see a view of what we've been working on, a preview of the final result, click on this interactive render. Now let's make the final settings for the final pictures. So the first thing you want to do is click here the image and video properties change this to a turntable image I'll choose 8 image count to 8 uh, 360 rotation angle and counterclockwise also here I'll set the uh, size of the image that I want you can set a custom size although the file already comes with this as a default and also you want to uh, select the five file path uh, where you would like to save your pictures so select the line and also the image formats i would always recommend using pngs Also, I would like to turn on transparency. You can choose uh, for the background, you can choose any background color you want white, gray, black. But for this video, I'll be using a transparent. Now, to make the final pictures, once you've added all the settings, just press the final render. So once you uh, once it's done, you will see image or video has been saved. You can choose to open the folder to see the final results of your renders. And this is what it looks like. Look at the details. To make a 360 animation, come to the image or video properties, change the image count from 8 to 180 or 360. For best quality, I would recommend 360. 180 is also good. Yeah, and also you want to select save video. Once you select save video, click this refresh button. And also for the 360 video, uh, you need to set a uh, background. So you can choose any background of your choice. So once you've selected your background and that's all you need to make the 360 video. 
so you just press the stop render and press the final render button once it's done the video will be saved to the file folder you selected now to make the work cycle animation first thing first make sure you save your document once you've saved your document come up to the folder in which you downloaded from uh, designer studios and click on the work animation file now once you've opened the work animation file repeat the same process you did on the mockup file so i'll be skipping through this entire process now once you've repeated all the steps from the uh, mockup and you've added, you've changed the colors, added your graphics and everything else. Now let's test the animation. So change the simulation to animation and press play just to see a preview of what it looks like. And once that is done. Uh, just go to start and change it back from animation to simulation now let's render the animation let's press the interactive render click on image or video properties and change this turntable to animation the colorway to current and the region to play region and i would also like to save the video so once you select save the video uh, save video change the background to the preferred background of your choice and yeah, select the file folder in which you would like to save the animation and from there you can go ahead to render the animation press stop and press render once the front uh, work animation is done now i can choose to do the side uh i can choose to do whichever angle I want. This is 3, this is 4, 5, 6. Uh, yeah, I'll choose to do the back as well. So I'll do the back and that will be it. In summary, I showed how to make mockups, how to make 360 animation, and also how to make the work cycle animation. In the next video, I'll be showing in depth how to take these designs to the next level so watch out for part two